Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'm doing a bit of an exploratory day here in the Lake District. Um, in the past year I've been pretty unsuccessful here finding wildlife in the Lake District. So I've come out to an area that's got a bit of woodland, river, some uh, open land as well. And I'm just going to have a walk around today. Now, if all else fails, I do have an area that's quite close by that I can go to that I visited on a few videos back where I photographed the red squirrels jumping across the river. Um, so you can watch that video here. Uh, that was a great day out, absolutely fantastic little spot. And I'm sure it will be a lovely little place to go in spring and summer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a walk around through, along this uh, woodland here that's uh, a new plantation behind me and then moving on into an older plantation of woodland and just having a look in there as well. I've already seen this morning a great spotted woodpecker and a little wren and a kestrel. So not too bad. Um, so I've just been flying around this area here behind me, behind the river. Unfortunately, you can't get down to the river. It's restricted access. So I'm going to look at that and see who owns this, uh, this little bit of land. Uh, it could be the forestry, and if that's the case, it could be quite a complex procedure just trying to get access to it. Um, but if it is private land, it may be a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is head on and see what we can find here in the Lake District. Okay, so I've just seen a bird fly through the woods here and just land over the other side of this hill. No idea what it was. I'm going to go and have a look. Well, I've had a good walk around this morning. Spent about three hours just having a walk around the valley and through the woods. Had a nice little uh, moment with a buzzard. Uh, it just sort of, I heard it um, in the trees. It then took off. I then sort of hid myself a little bit and then it flew around and came back in again. Landed in a tree, got a little bit of footage and a couple of pictures, but all the same, very nice. But that's about it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head back down to the car and I'm going to make tracks over to the place where I was a few weeks back and see if I can photograph some red squirrels, see if they are any redder now that uh, the temperature's got a colder recently, see if we can catch some jays and anything else that may be around. So yeah, so I'm going to head back to the car now and head over to the location I was a few weeks ago. So I will see you down by the river. Hey guys, well I'm back down by the river now. Uh, I've just come down to photograph some red squirrels and hopefully a few of the little birds as well. Just seen one red squirrel, so I'm hoping that uh, a few more may come in. Um, I've noticed a lot of storm damage uh, around the area here. This um, rhododendron tree behind me was much bigger and much fuller, uh, but a load of branches have fallen down onto it and pretty much uh, flattened it. So. I want to do is just see what what animals we get here on another note as well i just want to jump in quickly that um, can i ask people to stop or just not to email me as much asking for locations of all the wildlife that i photograph um, i'm sure other photographers uh, have the same issue with with wildlife and whatnot but i just can't keep or want to keep giving out locations to 
to owls and, and hares and rabbit and you know all, all that sort of stuff otherwise it's just going to become over saturated and too many people at these locations the thing is i do a lot of research and spend a lot of time going over articles and, and forums etc and, and doing the legwork in order to find these locations and for me just to give it up and give it to somebody else i think it's uh i think you need to get out and and, and find the wildlife rather than just ask for it i know sometimes it is hard but you you know it's how i started just just wandering around the countryside and, and finding wildlife and also reading up and, and listening to other people as well but yeah if we could just uh calm down all the messages and emails just asking me for where to go and see all, all the wildlife that'd be much appreciated guys so anyway let's get the camera out and see what we can photograph Okay, well, I've just had an absolutely fantastic hour here, up in the woods, here in the Lake District. Um, had a walk around for, for ages, and there were just there was no red squirrels. Um, went up to see if we could find the kingfisher. There's no kingfisher either. Sat there for about three quarters of an hour, nothing at all. So I've come up here, um, right deep into the woods on this hillside, and I just sat and waited. And lo and behold, the red squirrels eventually came out and i've just had a fantastic hour absolutely brilliant uh, i found this old tree stump here behind me and i brought uh, some nuts with me probably about half a dozen i should have brought a lot more um but anyway i just took stuck them on top of this uh log here and they came up sat there and the sun came out and just hit the back of this squirrel and i think i've got an absolutely beautiful photograph of a red squirrel just sat on this tree stump amazing i couldn't ask for more anyway what i'm going to do now is i'm going to have a walk up the hillside over into another valley um, and just see what else i can find um, i am looking for a tip that i was given now i'm not going to say what it is unless i can't find it but fingers crossed i've got a few more hours of daylight left let's go and see what else we can photograph today came to find this animal that I have never yet photographed and I managed to spend 30 seconds in front of it and managed to get just a few photos of the tawny owl. So yep and I waited for another two hours just in case it was going to stick its head out of the hole but it didn't do. So just a couple of uh, images of the tawny owl, but very nice to see and a new location found. So that's absolutely fantastic. It is quite away from me, so I won't be nipping up here that often. Um, but no, what a fantastic day. Nice walk this morning. Had a walk round um, up on the fells through the woods. Got a few photos there then came back down um, into the valley by the river and up into the woods there where I managed to spend um, a good hour with some very cute 
and friendly squirrels. So that was absolutely fantastic. Um, and just some really nice photos I think I got of them. Um, looking forward to editing them, which you will now see or have seen. Um, and then coming out and photographing the tawny owl for a brief 30 seconds. I was really hoping to get some video of the of the owl, but there you go. You can't have can't have your own way always. But hey, until next time, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you on my next trip.